Meet Jack the Ripper. I wanted a way to rip my CD collection automatically. I have over 2,000 store-bought CDs, and I wanted to convert them to MP3s without having to sit at my PC for a month, moving the CDs in and out of the PC's CD drive. I found this old automated CD burning device at the office, and they said I could borrow it, as long as I didn't break it or prohibit it from functioning as a CD burner. It's a Composer Plus from Premiera. It was originally sold for limited mass production of CDs. You fill up one of the hoppers with blank CDs, and it transfers them one at a time into the CD's drive tray, where they're burned from an attached PC with some custom software. Then the arm fetches the burned CD back out of the CD tray and puts it in the completed hopper and repeats. At first I thought it might work as an automatic ripping device without modification, but the software only works for burning. There was no way to get it to rip. I'm sure it might be possible to reverse engineer the device driver and create such software from scratch, but I thought I could find an easier way with some low-cost automation gear from AutomationDirect.com. The three buttons on the front panel helped me realize just how easy this project might be. Using these buttons, you can manually move the robotic arm from position to position and cause it to drop or pick up a CD at any of the stations. Perfect! I just soldered some extra wires onto those buttons and tied those to outputs on a DLO5 PLC to cycle the arm through its positions. The CD drive is still connected to the PC via a USB cable. The PC just sees the CD drive as an external drive. Most of the ripping software out there, iTunes, Winamp, etc., can be configured to automatically rip a music CD when it's detected in the drive, and those programs will also eject the CD tray when the ripping is complete. The only missing piece for my PLC project was being able to detect when the CD tray opens and being able to close the tray via an output from the PLC. I mounted a small proximity sensor, also from Automation Direct, near the front of the CD drive and attached a small metal flag to the tray. So now when the tray is closed, I have a PLC input going high and when it opens, the input goes low. I carefully dissected the CD drive and piggybacked a couple of wires onto the eject button on the front of the drive also. So now one of the relay outputs on the PLC can close the drive tray. Actually, it can open or close the tray, but I only need the close functionality. Remember, iTunes is going to open it when the rip is finished. The coolest part was realizing that the Automation Direct PLC would actually fit inside the case of the Composer Plus. There was a large empty space. I think they left room for a second CD drive, although the plastic faceplate is not molded to accept one. The height clearance was very tight, but it fits. I drilled a couple of mounting holes in the metal base of the composer to secure the PLC, and I routed a second power cable through a hole in the rear of the unit. Here's another benefit from automating it this way. If you don't plug in the PLC, the device functions just as it always did and will still burn CDs. With a total of one input to the PLC notifying it when the tray has opened, and three outputs, one for sequence, one for pick, and one for close the tray, it was a simple matter to write a PLC ladder program to cycle the machine through its steps whenever the tray opens. After the next CD is placed in the tray and the PLC sends the tray close signal, iTunes takes over and rips another one.